What does a 2.8% economic growth rate mean for the markets? I think it's pretty good. Um, I mean, 3.1 was the expectation, but these numbers do get revised a lot. I would even say the, the first two numbers this year for first quarter and second quarter got revised higher later. So tracking a close to 3% growth is way better than any economist anticipated at the beginning of the year. So as a stock market investor, Stuart, I like it. Yep. Uh, I, I use this statistic all the time. The magnificent seven, the seven big technology companies, they are worth more than the stock markets of England, Canada, Germany, and Japan combined. So when we get their reports later this week, today and tomorrow, is that going to show strength to keep those stocks going higher? Well, they're at $16.5 trillion market cap. That's seven stocks. That's Huge. insane. You think about Germany's stock market, it's like $2 trillion. That's Amazon <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right there. So I think in the short term, I mean, if you look at the growth rates, they're still better for the MAG-7 than the rest of the market. And you know, we saw that last night, Google, our Alphabet came out with, you know, they blew their earnings out. They're up 6 7% this morning. Uh, Tesla is up 20% last week. So I think that momentum looks very good in the short term. But long term, if I can own all those other stocks globally, like, you know, companies like Mercedes, Toyota, Siemens, Airbus, you name it, you know, all those different exchanges, I'd rather own all of those except for just seven stocks in the U.S. that are, I would arguably at this point, somewhat overvalued. I, I, I take your point. I just can't remember a time when a small group of stocks dominated the global economy so much. I've never seen anything like that before, ever. Well, I would say as an neither of you, and you're younger than me. Uh, am I? <laughs> just <laughs> yes, you are. Maybe a year or two. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a fair point, but I think bottom line here is it also speaks to there is an over-concentration to where investors are putting money today. Got it. Google's up 6% as we speak. All right, Ryan, thanks very much indeed.